What's up, everybody? Pete Pardo here from Sea of Tranquility. We have arrived at pick number 25 of my favorite albums of the 70s. This is the countdown we're doing each and every day here this month in October 2023. 31 days in the month, our 31 favorite albums across all genres. Doesn't matter what it is, it counts today for my uh, pick number 25. This is the sixth studio album from this Irish band, mostly Irish band anyway, um, released March 26, 1976, recorded over at Ramport Studios in London, England, produced by John Alcock for Vertigo and Mercury Records, depending on what territory you happen to be from, We're talking about Jailbreak from Thin Lizzy. Yeah, of course, I gave it away with the uh, the whole Irish thing, but uh, not the whole band was Irish, but they're generally known as an Irish band, mainly because of, uh, you know, a couple guys in the band, Mr. Phil Lynott, Phil Linnett, depending on where you're from, right? Bass guitar, lead vocals, acoustic guitar, Brian Downey on drums, percussion, Brian Robertson, lead and rhythm guitars, the man from Scotland, and the guy from the U.S., Scott Gorham on lead and rhythm guitars, right? Yeah, some great songs on here. This is... <clears throat> this you know either this or um, Johnny the Fox or fighting or bad reputation those generally are the ones that I always look to as my favorite Thin Lizzy albums Black Rose as well the more you think about it the more albums by Thin Lizzy kind of pop up you're like oh my god there's just so many great albums from this band uh, it starts off of course with the great title track Jailbreak what a great rocker that is this album is full of rockers and a couple good ballady things Angel from the Coast so good Running Back I mean just side one is terrific Angel from the Coast Jailbreak Angel from the Coast Running Back Romeo and the Lonely Girl boy could Mr. Phil tell a nice tale right and then of course Warriors finishes it off uh, heavy rocker to end off side one of the LP. Flip over. You got the band's biggest hit ever. The boys are back in town. Real catchy song. I see why it was a big hit. It's personally not one of my favorite Thin Lizzy songs. I've said it a million times here on the channel. I think they have easily 20 better songs than the boys are back in town. But it's it's got that it factor, right? That's why everybody gravitates toward it. I just what, what always pained me is that uh, so many other great songs and so many people don't know anything by them other than this song. Fight or Fall, more kick-ass stuff. Cowboy Song, that's my underrated favorite of this album. Cowboy Song is so good. In fact, I would argue that Cowboy Song has an even better hook and is more infectious than The Boys Are Back in Town. That's just me, though. And then, of course, the greatest Thin Lizzy song of all time, Emerald, finishes off the album. What a riff. What guitar playing. Thunderous full of piss and vinegar love emerald such a great 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 track great album uh let's look at charting positions here australia number 51 canada number five sweden number 21 uk album charts made it to number 10 and here in the uh, u.s billboard top 200 made it to number 18 as far as uh singles go the boys are back in town made it to number eight in canada ireland number one uk number eight and in the u.s made it to number 12 and uh, Jailbreak made it to number 31 in the UK, and Cowboy Song made it to number 77 on the Billboard charts. Right. So as far as certifications go, in Canada, this was a gold seller, 50,000 units sold. UK, gold, 100,000 units sold. And the United States, also gold, 500,000 units sold, half a million copies sold. This is the biggest selling album in the career of Thin Lizzy, without a doubt. So it's just a shame that none of the others really kind of made it to the level of this because like I said they arguably have other albums that are you know nearly as good as this one this obviously has the biggest hit on there and some of their most well-known songs it's hard you know when, when you have Jailbreak, Angel from the Coast, Warriors, Boys Are Back in Town, Cowboy Song and Emerald on the same album no doubt everybody not everybody but many people list this as their their crowning achievement but uh, yeah I would say if you're new to Thin Lizzy and maybe you only know a couple tracks, you know, certainly the big song and a couple others in this album. You really should go listen to Johnny the Fox. You really should go listen to Fighting. You should go check out Bad Reputation, Black Rose. But hell, you can, there's others, right? Chinatown, Renegade, 
Thunder and Lightning, you know, the first three albums. It's a lot of good stuff here. So that's my pick for today. Pick number 25, Jailbreak by Thin Lizzy. Love it, love it, love it. Let us know what you think down in the comments below as well as your pick for today. Pick number 25 and visit us on the web at www.seatranquility.org. We're on Facebook. We're on YouTube all together all the damn time. Please subscribe if you haven't already and click on that notification bell so you get alerted of all of our content as it posts. And please do hit the like button before you leave. Also down below, we get the links to our Ko-Fi page for channel donations, our merch page where you can get all sorts of cool Sea of Tranquility gear, and our Cameo page where we can do uh, personalized videos for you. So all that's below in the video description. We'll see you tomorrow for pick number 24. Stay tuned. Uh, just a few short hours. we got the UK connection coming up today. We also have a uh, special all-star panel uh, talking about uh, why there is still plenty of good new music being made today. It's kind of like a rant episode featuring a cool cast. That's coming up tonight, so stay tuned for that. As well as uh, tomorrow, we've got Ranking the Albums. I'll be doing a solo ranking episode, uh, ranking the catalog of the very cool psychedelic stoner space rock prog band uh, Weed Pecker. Some of you may be saying Weed Pecker. That's a weird name for a band, Pete. Yes, it is. The band is really, really cool. Four albums. I'll be ranking them tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. And lots more here on the channel. I am Pete Pardo. Thanks for watching, everybody. Enjoy your weekend, uh, but we'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.